In this video, we'll learn about the 10 types of overeating. There are many different reasons people overeat. It's not as straightforward as the idea that fat people are just being greedy. In fact, as we've already covered, for many people, the compulsion to overeat is very hard to control. Overeating can lead to heartburn, discomfort, and stomach pain in the short term, as well as gastrointestinal problems, flatulence, bloating and diarrhea, heart problems, cancers, and obesity in the long term. Most people who normally do not overeat can find doing so quite unpleasant and uncomfortable. But those who frequently overeat find that their body releases a natural pleasure chemical to adjust for excessive food intake, making it actually enjoyable to overeat or at least encourage us to feel like continuing to want to consume more. This is the start to forming a type of food addiction. The following are examples of overeating. 1. Consuming large amounts of food, much more than a normal person would at one time, and doing so quickly is considered binge eating. A single or occasional act of binge eating is not necessarily harmful in itself, but if you have a habit of eating this way, it's considered a symptom that can lead to an eating disorder or bulimia nervosa. 2. Ordering and consuming supersized meal portions is another sign of overeating. There are now a large number of establishments who offer all you can eat and very large or supersized portions. These meals are usually made with low cost and low quality ingredients. So although you're getting a large volume in food, you're actually getting very little nourishment, which causes your body to seek more food to compensate. All this excess food is usually in the form of empty carbohydrates and turned into body fat. The normal cycle of using the food you consume for powering and repairing your body with any extra being turned into fat and then used as needed stops. Instead of burning the stored fat, your body just burns a portion of the carbohydrates you consume and any excess just goes into your body's fat stockpile in a never-ending cycle so you get bigger and unhealthier. 3. Because the body has developed a series of senses that stimulates the brain with chemical messages when triggered, a person learns to use these triggers to make themselves feel better when they are under some type of emotional stress or strain. This is acceptable occasionally. But when a person is prone to emotional mood swings, depression, or they often have feelings of being unhappy, upset, or sad, they can find they have an emotional overeating problem. This is because they are using food triggers to make themselves feel better with the result of overeating or binge eating. Four, an overeating disorder very similar to emotional overeating disorder can happen to those who are suffering from stress. This can cause people to feel anxious instead of depressed. This type of overeating disorder is often associated with people who have a heavy workload or work long hours without taking time off for adequate rest and meals. When you eat rapidly, especially when you're on the run, there's a high tendency to overeat or binge. The simple explanation for this is because the stomach does not have time to relay the full signals to the brain, which normally stops a person from eating when he's full. 5. Sugar type food addictions are a major cause of overeating. Often they form at a very young age, usually starting when babies and children are given foods with high sugar content. Not only do people who crave sugar often become overweight, they are more likely to have dental problems and high blood sugar levels. These factors will lead to diabetes. Studies suggest that a high sugar diet is a major cause of emotional issues. A trap many people fall into is having a healthy, wholesome meal, then following it with a sugar-laden dessert or drinks that negate many of the benefits they would have had from their meal. Instead of using sugar, think about using spices such as cinnamon to sweeten your food or drinks. Cinnamon helps to slow your food as it travels through your digestive system. Give your food a new dimension by adding a small amount of cider vinegar as it improves flavor and helps lower the fluid glycemic index. So, like with cinnamon, you metabolize food at a slower rate. 6. If you feel hungry, try drinking water. Oftentimes, people mistake hunger with thirst. 7. Snacking on junk foods between meals is partially difficult. Snacking on junk foods between meals is a partially difficult thing to stop for many people and can lead to overeating. If you feel the need to snack, pick snack foods that are healthy and nourishing such as vegetables like carrots, celery or salads. Fruit and nuts are also wholesome food choices, but the total calorie count for the day should be taken into account if you're trying to reduce your body weight or daily calories intake. 8. Many people now get a substantial part of their weekly food diet from fast foods. This makes eating normal volumes of food very difficult because fast foods are purposely designed to create to make you want to eat more of them. 
They have in their ingredients carefully formulated chemical additives to make them react with your taste buds, sending messages to your brain that the body needs more of this. Furthermore, these compounds are highly addictive. Coupled with their very low nutrient content and huge amount of high-calorie carbohydrates, as well as refined salts and oils, these foods are catalysts to make you overeat and result in obesity. 9. A lot of good people fall into the trap of finding comfort in eating food. Sometimes this can be a good thing as long as you are careful about selecting the right types of foods and balance your eating with a reasonable amount of physical activity. Another major lifestyle issue most people have today is that they always pick the wrong food and don't exercise. Even worse, they incorporate eating as a means of coping with their emotions. There are people who indulge in food when they're happy, sad, frustrated, stressed, angry, and all different emotions. They become dependent on food as a remedy for their own self-comfort. 10. Social eating can also lead to another type of overeating disorder. Oftentimes, social eating involves consuming large amounts of food and drinks spread over a relatively long period. While attending these social events occasionally is not a problem, those who often eat socially can feel they are obliged to eat and possibly drink more than they normally would. Often these meals are high in calories and not very filling, so people tend to consume them in large volumes. 11. Some people find that they are at a loose end or do not have enough things to occupy their minds. They become bored, so in place of other stimulation, they resort to eating just to relieve themselves from boredom. These people are most likely to become binge eaters and go for supersized portions like fast foods as well as taking part in excessive snacking of predominantly junk foods.